Uh, hey, uh, this is probably going, this is, uh, my third TTSKO update, and for this next video, I'm going to do, like, a, a 1993 dated, uh, VDV cut variant and a M88, uh, naval cut variant, winter variant right here. Now, first off, the VDV variant, it is, uh, one of the last generations of, uh, TTSKO uniforms to be produced. It is the first full VDV cut set second pattern, which came with a piece of matching headgear. This was also a Facebook purchase. Now, these VD this type of VDV cut doesn't really have the suspender loops to go with it. A little detail. As is with most of the VDV cut pants, it always has this uh, divided pockets here at the, here at the thigh. For like uh, magazines. Now let's get a good look at the stamp. As you can see, manufacture date 1993, size 50 by 4. And uh, it appears to use a different lined material for like the uh, holster. If I can get this thing open with just one hand, I, apparently I can't. More like a synthetic brown material instead. Not too different from the other, the other VDV var variant that I have here, except a uh, second pattern. It's more of this uh, brown oxblood cut coloration right here. And uh, this here is not really too historical or accurate. This is like a purchase off a German web website, Red Star Militaria. Uh, these, uh, the only examples of helmet covers. In TTSKO that I've seen are like Chechen War Naval Infantry, and I believe those ones were self-made. This one is in like a yellowish, uh, what is it, like a naval coloration? But anyway, better look at the sewing job. It wasn't too good. First day I got this, uh, this thing right here, kind of tore when I tried to tie it up to the helmet. But unlike the, the Spetsko Gwesda one, it actually fits on my helmet quite fine. And, uh, a little viewing on my, uh, winter variant here. This is, uh, as opposed to the VDV one that I have, this is more cut on the other two, Spetsko, Wesda, and Khaki winter Afghankas that I also have. Almost pretty much exactly. This one is dated, what is it, 1988. It is size 50 by 3. The jacket and trousers I use, as you can pretty much see, are kind of mismatch. So, nothing too different. Just this, like I keep saying, the same as the other winter variants, as opposed to the VDV one. Now, the hood inside of the jacket is like a rubberized. Yeah, it's pretty much rubberized on like the ones. Uh, the Spetsko Wesda one has like a rubberized lining within it. This is a uh, completely rubber or plastic or whatever you call it. So it's a lot more waterproof. And it seems to be feel a lot more itchier, itchier than the other winter variants that I have. Well, the jacket. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much just about it since I've already described, uh, TTSKO in my previous videos, so, good for now.